Hello and welcome to Signals Hi-Fi. We are going to do a very, very quick A-B comparison. What we're going to do is compare the Dynaudio Focus 50 wireless speakers running Rune versus Dynaudio Evoke 50s running into a name Unity Nova. Now there are some differences. This is obviously a active speaker as such with an amp board in the back. It's now a sealed enclosure. It can run Rune, Dirac, all of that good stuff. This is a passive loudspeaker, which is rear ported. Now, although these cabinets look identical, there are other differences. These drive units, although they look the same, have a metal ring around the front, so aesthetically slightly different. And Dynaudio designed these drivers specifically for this system and designed these drivers specifically for this system. So there are some differences. The other difference is the Dynaudio Focus 50 are considerably heavier. Now we have speaker wires running along the floor. You'd have only had mains cables running along the floor with the Focus 50. So I'm going to put up two sound clips. First one is the Focus 50 running through Rune and we're going to run these through the Unity Nova running Cobuzz and see if we can hear any difference, which is the more exciting sound.
Whew, okay, yes, those Dyn Audio Focus 50s are quite heavy. Okay, they were run completely flat. There was no room correction. We were running them exactly out of the box, so to speak. And I personally felt running the Evoke 50s through the name Unity Nova was just more exciting to listen to. It was more engaging. There was a depth to the sound stage, which unfortunately seemed somewhat missing with the Focus 50s. Now, the pluses of the Focus 50 is if you wanted an absolutely minimalist system, barely any wires and just two speakers and you could control it all from a device, they would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Very clean lines, very clean sounding. They were powerful. They had bags of bass, very detailed, very clear sounding loudspeakers. But if you didn't mind having a few wires along the floor, and a box sitting on a rack, then the Evoke 50 name combination was just so, so good in comparison. Now, I'm sure if you engaged the room correction and tuned and tailored the Focus 50s absolutely accurately to this room, we would have probably got a little bit more out of them and possibly the contest would have been closer. But I personally think, for me, I'd still rather have wires along the floor and an amplifier and passive loudspeakers. Or if I did have active loudspeakers, actual active loudspeakers that you could have still all your separate boxes, your preamp and so on and so forth, controlling them. Anyway, very, very short, sharp, sweet video for you comparing the Focus 50 against the Evoke 50. Take care, guys. I'll catch up with you soon.